The first step of your install is to remove the original pedal by unscrewing the two bolts that mount it into place. We are doing this demo with the dash bar removed, but you can also do the install with the dash in place. Next, you will mount the pedal adapter into place using the two supplied bolts that you got when you purchased your pedal. We suggest lining up the new pedal with your adapter plate before installing it into the car so you can see where the mounting points are. Here are a few examples of the different pedal types that are compatible with our drive-by-wire pedal adapter. Once you are back in the car, use a hex wrench and bolt the iWire drive-by-wire pedal adapter plate into place. You will use the holes in the chassis where the original pedal was bolted in. Take the two bolts from the original pedal and use them to screw in your new drive-by-wire pedal into the adapter bracket. Once the pedal is screwed in, your install is complete. Please note that you will need the original carpet holder piece to make sure the pedal doesn't travel too far. If the pedal travels too far, it will throw a code for over voltage. Thanks for watching our install video. To purchase your own adapter pedal, check out the link in the comments.